Okay, can you talk about the moment um, where your character found out like about this whole world? That was pretty amazing. Yeah, you know? that's one of my favorite scenes of the whole season for, for, for myself. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, just talk about it from your perspective. Like, was it, how much fun was it to play that? And, you know. I think, was, I think what Nicole said was what I, as the actor, felt. Yes, finally. Thank you. Um, I think because for a while, I was like, Nicole is, is trying to figure out what's going on. And it's getting frustrating. It's getting frustrating for me because it's only so long you want to you want to be out of the loop. Um, so I think that moment, and also I, had very, I did get to work very much with, with Shamir and Tim. So that was really cool, that scene with the guys. And, and that dynamic was totally different. And I think just, it's, I was proud. It was a proud moment. I mean, you know, I, I originally, I don't believe Nicole was supposed to stay on the show as long. I was contracted for six episodes. And um, so when they said, you know, like, welcome to the Black Bat Division, that was that was twofold for me because that was, you know, welcoming Nicole and welcoming me. And uh, it was one of my favorite scenes to shoot. Yeah. Now that Nicole is part of Black Bat, what yeah. would be her gun of choice? Her gun of choice? Oh my gosh. I think, I don't know much about guns, so forgive me. But um, I think I think something at least that's lighter than the police gun. It's really heavy. Um, I think, I, I, I like what Dolls has. His gun's really slick. Um, I don't think she would use a rifle. I think she would use something agile and quick. And um, yeah, that, that she could like tuck away really fast or hide. I don't think she'd go for like a big, dirty gun. She'd go for something a little slicker. Yeah. Uh, Nicole is kind of in this cool middle ground between the Earth family and the town, and it, especially with Winona. Winona's had a very contentious relationship. Um, is that, and now that also now that Winona knows about Nicole and Waverly, do you see that relationship changing between Winona and Nicole, or like do you, are there things that I think it's like just going to get better. Yeah. yeah, I think that episode seven was like the one, I, I also didn't work with Melanie that much. So, so I think the episode seven where we had the, the scenes in the morgue where we got to um, hang out and just kind of be buddy cops together. I, I hope there's more of that. I love working with Melanie. I think she's doing an incredible job heading this show. Um, and I think I think I think it's just going to get stronger. I mean, maybe you know, I think with any sibling, kind of when your sibling gets into a relationship, you almost feel like you're losing them a little bit. So I think that's a beautiful tension that I'd love to play out because there, I think there is always that sense of, oh, that person is taking away my sibling, and uh, that was my friend, and I'm, you know, so I think, but I think that dynamic's going to be really fun to play. Yeah. So I hope there'll be a little bit of that. But I think Nicole, or why not, is going to be amazingly accepting of them and, and welcoming of Nicole, but I would love to see the tension, because it's very real. Okay. Yeah, and I was suspicious of people, new members coming in and having a relationship with their siblings. So, yeah, I'd like to see that. Especially with Willa gone. It was really yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Can you talk about that relationship between Nicole and, and Waverly and how that develops? Like, yeah. Initially, it's, she's making the passes, but totally. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I, it's been um, so. I think originally, uh, what I loved about the first scene when they first met each other is that it was so nuanced and there were so many different ways it could have been played, and we had a lot of fun with like playing it different ways, and then they kind of cut together what they wanted. Um, but I think. One of the fun things with, with Waverly and Nicole is that it was paced, and that was my biggest thing coming into it. I was like, I just, it needs to feel very earned and very genuine, and um, I think uh, major kudos to the team, especially to Emily. I think it, it was, and it was written very well, and I think it was just that slow burn, but it made it so much more satisfying, you know, especially for fans, for us, and it just it felt more real and more, more, um, like once they finally got together, it made sense. It wasn't just like a fling and then it's over. You know, they really wanted to be together because they had the time to think. And I think especially when when Waverly broke up with Champ, it would have been really easy to write Nicole and come in and saving the day. But they didn't do that. We had a whole episode where we didn't even see each other, and we kind of went, and, and and Nicole got a lot more developed with Winona and just more developed as a character. And I think that was really 
really important. I don't think the relationship would have been as earned otherwise. Yeah. 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 Winona Earth has really been like the sanctuary for LGBT fans and for the community. In a year on television where that hasn't always been the case with other shows, can you talk a little bit about what that has been for you, like being part of that experience? Oh, it's amazing. It's been, um, you can, not pressure inducing in a bad way, but, but in, in a great way because I just, I feel so much responsibility and so much pride for, for carrying that. And I, I, I feel very honored to do that and I just want to do a good job. I'm, just, I'm trying so hard to just, just you know, just do the best I can and, and to make, you know, this experience amazing for the fans and, and to give them the representation that they deserve and to do it justice, to do this amazing character justice. Yeah, it's been, it's been incredible. I had no idea, guys. I'm not even kidding. I had no idea. And I think, too, I was saying this earlier, like, I'm from Toronto and we have a really strong LGBT community and so I didn't realize that Nicole being gay would be a thing. And I was naive, I really was, but I didn't, I think just because of the environment I live and I grew up in, and I just, I didn't realize, I mean, she was just an awesome badass cop, and, and she was gay, and that was just part of who she was. And so, um, but I, I like that, because if I, I think if I had gone into being like, oh my goodness, I'm taking this weight on, I, I don't know if it would face me, I don't know, but I loved that it was, when I was playing, when we were shooting, I had no idea. So, I, but I think that was for the best. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is amazing! It's amazing. I, uh, I, I, don't know. It's, I don't even know how we got here. I've had so many moments of being like, is this real? Am I dreaming? What's happening? Uh, the cosplay has been really amazing. There's a bunch of people cosplaying as Nicole, the signing, and it's just like, oh, it's so sweet. And, and they work so hard on their costumes and making everything. And uh, it's been so gratifying just to play a character that somebody wants to spend that much time to, to dress up as. Uh, and I love it. I love Home Cup because I feel like it's like Disneyland. It's, you know, there's just a sense of adventure and play and fun. And that's what it's about. It's just about having fun and, and, and being creative and, and storytelling. It's like, what better for an actor? That's like, that's how I want to spend my whole life. That's why I became an actor. So this is just like a concentration of people who feel the same way. Um, yeah.